oil and gas majors are likely to report horrendous second quarter results over the next two weeks, energy analysts have told CNBC, with the three-month period through to the end of June widely expected to mark the low point of 2020. Big oil companies, referring to the world's largest oil and gas majors, witnessed a historic fall in oil and gas prices during the second quarter as coronavirus lockdown restrictions coincided with an unprecedented demand shock. Norway's Equinor will report second quarter earnings on Friday, with Austria's OMV, Italy's Eni, France's Total and Anglo-Dutch company Shell set to report next week. The UK, SBP will unveil their quarterly results on August 4. Stateside, ConocoPhillips will report earnings on July 30, with ExxonMobil and Chevron expected to follow on July 31. I think it is going to be brutal and ugly, Kathy Hippel, an analyst at the Institute for Energy Economics and Financial Analysis IEEFA, told CNBC via telephone. Hippel pointed out that international benchmark Brent crude futures averaged just $29 a barrel in the three months through to June, down from an average of $51 a barrel in the first quarter. Brent crude futures tumbled to their lowest level since 1999 on April 21, while U.S. West Texas intermediate futures plunged into negative territory for the first time on record. IEA Executive Director Fadi Birol has since reportedly said he believes 2020 may well come to be regarded as the worst year in the history of global oil markets, with so-called Black April likely to be the worst month the industry has ever seen. The earnings for the second quarter are going to be horrendous, IEEFA's Hippel said, reflecting on a period of significantly weaker oil and gas prices for energy majors. My big takeaway is that this is not just the result of the virus, these are long-term, decade-old trends," she continued. The oil industry is not going away tomorrow, but it is a long-term decline that we are seeing. Brent crude futures traded at $44.61 a barrel on Thursday morning, up more than 0.7% for the session, while UWTI futures stood at $42.19, around 0.6% higher. Stuart Joyner, analyst at market research firm Redburn, told CNBC via telephone that the second quarter was going to be the low point of the year for oil and gas majors, with all of them expected to report pretty weak results. Dividend payouts to shareholders will also be an area of focus for energy market participants. Oil giant Shell cut its dividend for the first time since World War II in the first quarter of 2020, while Norway's Equinor slashed its quarterly dividend to shareholders by two-thirds. Shell and BP have since announced second-quarter write-downs of up to $22 billion and $17.5 billion, respectively, on expectations of lower oil and gas prices over the next 30 years.